So I'm going to fix some acoustic guitars that was recorded in DP. In the outro, they are not totally synced up, so there's a lot of flam going on. So we're going to fix that, and we'll fix this here in Melodyne. So in DP, I consolidated the tracks. It's three guitar tracks, and I will... It's actually four, because I have a reference track. So let's go... Let's see here. I can do it a couple of ways in Melodyne. I can either import audio, or in this case where I only have four files, I'll just take these four files and simply drag them into. You see Melodyne, when you open a new project, there's a, there's always one track in here called New Track. So I'll drag this one. I'll drag the first one up on top of the new track, so it'll change to the name of the file I'm dragging in. I'll do that because when I'm exporting, when I'm done, if I didn't do this, I would get another file out that was called new track. So just in order not to have that extra track. So we'll just wait for Melodyne to finish importing the files. And draw the waveform and do all the analysis. What it does right now, you can see, it does, uh, does uh, polyphonic detection. So let's go down to the outro here. This is where the issue is. So if we... So you can hear a lot of flam there. Let's just... My last track here is my guide track. What I will do is I'll unclick the blob of this first track and select the first one here, the gray one, which is my guide, and then we will start them one by one and fix them. So I'll mute the two first tracks, so we're only listening to this track. Click on the blob here, so now we have this going on top, so I can see what I'm working on in comparison to my, my reference track. In Melodyne, there's some different ways I can zoom into this. I can hold down Option, Command, or Alt, Command, and if I swipe my mouse left and right, we will zoom horizontally. And if I move forward and backward, we will zoom vertically. So here we are getting into, we can see where the inconsistencies are. I'll take my time tool, hold down the Alt key. Let's just listen, and we can start playing. We have the cursor right down here. I can just double click, and it'll start playing from where my cursor is. So there's still a couple of issues. Let's go back. There's some issue down here. There's one there for sure. Let's play again. And there's one there. Let's move that up here. Sounds about right. There's still something going on here that sounds a little bit odd. There's something up here that's not. Could be that should go up here. That sounds about right. So let's move on to the next one. Unclick the blobs. Select these blobs to edit them in the editor. And we can s hold down my Alt Option key and drag. Nothing up there. We're down here. 
Let's listen to this. Sounds about right. Let's mute and unmute the last one. Select these blobs. be there. There's some flam here. See, that probably should be on that one. That was about right. See which one is fast. Let's listen with all of them together. And we can, if I hold down the command key, I can select the other blobs. So now we have all the blobs on top of each other and we can see if there's any big differences there's some difference up here let's find which one so it looked like this one was a little too what's ahead there's something down below still Looks like they're all okay. Let's invite the others. So there's something here. Let's get you together with these guys. So there we are. That's all my guitars now in sync. So I'll go to file and export. Click export. We will make a new directory for this. We'll call them Middle fixed guitars, create that, and Melodyne will export the WAV files, and we are ready to replace them in DP. Okay, we are back in DP. Before we import the files we just made in Melodyne, let's just listen to the guitars, how they sound here in the outro again. <laughs> So we have a lot of flame here. What we're going to do is I'll just move over so I can fully see the name of the file here. So select the first the guitar, go to audio, select replace sound bite, and that will be this one. I'll add it. Done. We'll see its changes. Let's do the second one, replace sound bite. This was number four. And do the last one, replace sound bite again. This will be number five. And done. And there we go. And let's hear how it sounds now. We just fixed the guitars in Melodyne.